in this video we're going to talk about alabaster bounties so basically for bounties let's begin from the beginning there are well there is a side quest where a guy takes you to the bounty board and he says like you need to do all these bounties basically and you go into that bar in the first place in Nanahana I think it is and on the little board at the side of the room there are bounties on that board so you go on and you accept all the bounties and once you accept the bounties they'll appear on the map of to wherever the location is some of them are in Nanahana some of them are in you know Alabaster some of them are in the desert blah 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 they could be anywhere uh, but it will show you on the map and that's the key thing to note if you're struggling on any in particular let me know and I'll locate them for you uh, and let you know in the comments basically but every single one of them generally is easy to find apart from uh, probably the Beast Tamer Muji so Beast Tamer Muji is located sort of in the desert there's like a little path where you do a little side quest with a parrot type thing and that guides you through this sort of misty sand dune -y type area in the caves and there's a little bit you'll see it on the map he's on the right hand side the bounty so you go through about halfway through the caves thing uh, following the bird and then there'll be a right hand like 90 degree right hand turn and uh, you'll see it on the map you'll just walk straight across and there is the beast tamer muji so you'll go in you'll do that fight basically I did all the fights at the end of the game pretty much because number one I wasn't interested in doing them at the time um, but yeah you get them done bam 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 done 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 easy and quick generally uh, if you do them as you're going through the fights take a lot longer it's more of a pain the rewards aren't that spectacular from doing them so you don't really need to do them until the end of the game um, obviously if you come in at the end you can do like Conqueror's Hacky you can do um, it's not Dragon Twister is it it's like some weird name move for Zoro can't remember what it was but it affects everyone it's great um, you can do like Thunderbolt Tempo Flame Starbird you can do all kinds of moves so basically I would recommend saving them till the end doing them at the end because it's just easier um, in terms of difficulty most of them not too difficult in the earlier ones the later ones are a bit harder but again you should be absolutely fine with it I can't see there being any issues as you can see there Nami got knocked out uh, and this is what happens when you do them earlier like they're just a lot harder it's a lot more effort I should be healing and doing other stuff and at this point I didn't even know what Chopper did so yeah tips Chopper's a healer put all your defensive items on him uh, and then just heal everyone every turn pretty much makes the game incredibly easy in terms of um, items and stuff if you search around the entire maps as you're going around pick up all the stuff you'll get decent stuff for making trick balls you get decent stuff for making food which you're getting a part of two other trophies um, for Sanji and Usopp there's plenty of things to pick up like decent healing items and stuff like that so you're not gonna have trouble if you just search around in terms of fighting there's um, EXP boost fights which help with EXP obviously if you rest at a camp and then go and fight I think it's is it the next 10 fights or the next 5 fights or something like that uh, boost your XP as well in certain fights as well you get an extra like bonus uh, it'll say something like oh protect this character and kill the enemies before they kill him or you know this guy's food kill him in one turn if you can execute those basically you get a massive amount of XP so later on in the game it becomes really important for getting to like level 70 and stuff it makes it a lot easier in terms of early game it helps level up so it definitely does help uh, just make sure you search around as well because there's a lot of treasure chests and stuff certain fights give you good armor and stuff like that um, and always upgrade your armor as you're going through the game it'll make it a lot easier 
Uh, but yeah, I didn't die once in this in terms of a failed fight. Obviously, like your characters die occasionally, but there's nothing major there. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything important about bounties other than um, that you have to do them for a trophy. <laughs> like you have to do 30 bounties in total, and basically they're just easy, simple fights. You know, you go to the location, you fight them. That's all there is to it. Uh, you do get certain cubes as well, like Sanji cubes, Luffy cubes, Zoro cubes, etc. There, some of them do drop them uh, later on, I think. So that can help towards the other achievement with the cubes. Uh, but you'll find those cubes all around, and generally side stories and stuff like that, and even main story, I think, gives you cubes. So there's, uh, you wouldn't, you shouldn't have any trouble with that. I didn't have any trouble, so I assume most people won't struggle with that which is why I've not done a guide on those cubes because I think they're just simplistic enough that you don't need a guide but let me know if you do and I'll try and work something out but there's more than enough cubes over the achievement mark so it's it's kind of like to me you should be able to find like I think it's like half if not a little bit more than half um, for the trophy so should be fine uh, and what else about bounties? You can use bond moves and stuff. Bond moves are generally quite useful for uh, if you're struggling. They do generally have status effects and stuff like that if you've unlocked them. Uh, I'll do a guide on all the bonds, do a guide on all the side stories, do a guide on Yaya cubes, stuff like that. But yeah, this, this fight's obviously taking a while because I'm doing it at the time rather than doing it at the end. Um, if you do it at the end, piece of piss, like, Conqueror's Haki, boom, everyone's dead, job done, and that's it. But yeah, I did actually record this before, and I was saying a load of stuff, a load of things that's important about the game, and it turned out my microphone wasn't working correctly, because something else was plugged in, and it changed the speakers to something else, so, kind of ruined that. But yeah, fun times, good start, clearly. Yeah, if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments, and in terms of likes and subs and stuff, we're, we're always increasing there, so I appreciate the uh, support from everyone. And yeah, if you want to drop a like and a sub, that would be much appreciated. A comment as well. If you didn't like the video, then fair enough, but uh, yeah, drop a comment as well if you want. I'll respond to it, but uh, generally in a hostile way. So. <laughs> Thank you for watching, take care, peace out. の Thank <laughs> you.
しろよゴムゴムのガンドリングが俺がまとめて相手してやる行くぞ三刀流王儀三千世界まだだ何が起きてももう動じねえ。これで元気になるぞありがとうちょおう邪魔だゴムゴムのガンドリング<笑>もっと強いやつま、俺はマリモの力を見せてやる
ぞ。俺の方はいつでもいいぞ三刀流国上大竜馬<笑>まずいみんな